Hello guys, welcome to awesome video. So in this video, going to be a super epic, awesome, insane unboxing because I waited a long time to get this fish. So without delay, let's get into the video. I introduce the fish to you guys. I hope that every single one watching have subscribed to my channel because I waited a long time and spent most of my money savings in this fish. So this is a very beautiful fish. So I hope you give a like to this video and if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe right now. So without delay, let me show you the fish. So this is the Indonesian marble veil tail angel so these are fresh water angels they are uh, two different types which is a salt water angel which looks a uh, very different from this guy because the salt water angels are very gorgeous they are very colorful which we have in downstairs so you can see a lot of uh, videos of them also so now for fresh water time so i bought this very beautiful pair so these are mated pair or a bonded pair that means they already born in uh, another aquarium and they brought to the shop because they don't have a space or they really made for that so you can see they really made for each other they look the same so I got a male and female because the main purpose of them is to breed so let me show you which is the male and the female the male female identification in this fish is pretty hard so you need to see very closely to identify them so actually uh, let me see first because I also confused with them. So the male is that. So this is the male. So you can see the male have a blonde mouth and also a big head forehead. You can see the forehead is pretty big to compare to the female. So and it also has more coloration, the shiny, shiny colorations and also long finnets. So that's the difference between a male and female. So both look similar but they have some minor changes only. So minor differences. So it's you should see very very deeply to uh, identify them so it's quite important also because if you buy both males or both females they will fight to die so they will fight until they die and only one will survive so because these are cichlids also cichlid male flower horn the other african cichlids they all looks like a cichlid but they these guys won't look like that but they are actually kind of cichlid also just similar as a discus so discus is quite difficult to rare and they are much expensive than these guys so that's why i first got this but i will have some discus in the past time but they already died so i will get if i successfully rare these guys first so i'm having a plan to set up a discus tank downstairs because if i put up out means the uh, the tank will get so dirty so let me show you a pic of that you could see how dirty is this tank so the water is very crystal clean but the problem is the algae so the algae will form when the start direct sunlight haters so this tank don't have a fish this is a salt water aquarium this is a one and only salt water aquarium upstairs down got uh, two of them and the upstairs got one big tank this is a four feet so i have upload video about that also but you can see the difference when the starting and now so this is my only half the hermit crab so i'm taking video then hermit crab is watching me so it's spying me i think so i need to watch it very deeply okay now it's time for acclimation they are coming from a long distance i'm going to unbox them unpack them and then add to this small container because we don't have much time because the ammonia content in this tank will be definitely in the pack will definitely will be spiked so that's why i'm rushing oh my god this is too tight so Okay, successfully unpacked. So now I'm going to slowly pour the water. Okay, both of the fishes are in. So you can see now, the blue color, they look very gorgeous, even from the upper view. So now I'm going to slowly, gently pick up them with my net and then put them inside the tank you guys they are in the net so i think you can see so i need to rush we are going to introduce them to their forever home 
no worries i will upgrade the tank uh, if they survive hopefully they will survive in this tank so yeah they look pretty big for this aquarium because this is just a one and a half feet small nano aquarium so you can see how big they are compared to this they i think they are about six to seven inches so they are pretty big so now you can see a better view of them so let me show you again which is the male and which is the female uh let me show you again which is the male and which is the female so first i give you three seconds as i give some tips how to identify so please find out which is the male and female so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now i hope you all find out yes the one on the right is the female and the one in the left is the male so the male have a blonde head. female have a little smaller head compared to it and the male also looks quite bigger than the female so i have this small pot right here so they can lay their eggs there unless they don't have a space means they will go into the sponge filter or in they ended up being in the glass so i don't want that to happen so that's why i'm having this pot so this pot will help to keep the eggs uh, comfortable and also sticky in that so that the eggs won't float like the goldfish eggs which they should do for the discus and angelfish they are a little different which they will have something like a glue which they will stick into that so discus and angels are able to keep and raise their fries so it's a good parental control also so that's why i'm using this kind of things in my aquarium so this is our new discus pair they are husband and wife now so they are married and i don't want to talk a lot of them so thank you for this video till the next video until then this is pravin bye bye